Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be doing a groove weld simulation in the 3G position. So this is pretty much just an outside corner joint with a root opening. When we look at a groove weld, okay, we have our beveled ends, we have a cap and a root pass, as you can see here, and we have a beveled plate. And generally we add something called a land so that it is a thicker chunk of metal when we put our root in. We also put a gap. Typically these range from 3 32nd to an eighth of an inch. We need to prep our plate, take off the rust, and then we're gonna put on this land. Now most of the problems with people's uh, projects when it comes to their root comes from a inconsistent landing. So if the thickness of the land is inconsistent, you will get problems. And also when we tack this up, you're gonna get problems. So look at how consistent that is. That will make or break you when you're welding. And then we're just going to tack this up in a little jig that we got and we're going to go. So for the root pass we're welding at 17 volts and about 175 wire feed speed. We want to keep that wire at the front of the puddle and work our way up. Notice now how the wire is more in the middle of the puddle, not quite at the leading edge. This is going to give you a lot of problems with uh, welding penetration when we're MIG welding. Now you can see it's fixed again and we're going with that wire in the front of the puddle and penetrating that joint. You'll, you want to go really fast, just not so fast that uh, the wire goes through that root opening. And this is what we want the face of the root to look like. And that's kind of what we're looking for for penetration on the other side of the root. Now we're going to start doing a Z-weave manipulation for our hot pass or fill pass. So this is kind of what we want it to look like. Just side to side, we're not taking a lot of time in the middle and we're pausing on the sides of that previous weld. Okay, if you do pause in the middle, your weld is going to want to sag. So here's another shot up close. Again, we're pausing side to side. And it should look something like this. We're about a 16th below flush. If we have a little undercut or underfill, that's okay because we're doing a, another pass over it for the cap pass. Again, still a Z-weave, 17 volts and 200 wire feed speed. And we're not pausing too much in the middle and we're moving somewhat quickly. If your weld is really built up with this pass, it's generally because your first pass you filled it too much or your second pass. So be aware of that, it should look like this. Here's just a video from the side of how I kind of position myself. I use my left arm to kind of bring up that MIG gun. Now we're gonna do a different weave pattern. This is a triangular weave. And this is a way we can fill the joint after the root instead of doing a Z weave. Okay, and we want to do something that looks similar to this. Get a nice cadence going. And this is just a different manipulation. Sometimes you can get the weld to lay flatter and it looks a little nicer if you do it this way. But whatever works for you is fine. It should kind of look like this when you're finished. And then to go over that, we're going to do something similar to a triangular weave, but it's going to look like more of a D. Okay, and that's going to look like this. We're at 16 volts and 160 wire feed speed. We got to go a little bit slower on this. And so that's why we make adjustments with our settings. And so you can kind of see how you just sweep down all on one plane at the bottom and then you kind of arc up and over in the front again. And the finished project should look something similar to that. And you can do the same thing without a root for any outside corner joint, and it works very similarly. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.